but but I think like it's to have a fan base, you really need that relatability. And and I wanted to go back to like the the push on a lot of female superheroes now. Like I, I think one of the best examples of a superhero is Sa Sarah Connor in, in Terminator. Uh -huh, that is yeah. very relatable. She is um, someone that works alongside men, and she's still feminine, but her strengths are are are. It's not like she's appropriating a man and just becoming a superhero on the level yeah. of a man, right? Whereas, like with superheroes, too, and and I would like to add the Bride and Kill Bill, right? It's also she's playing on a lot of on her femininity and working right. alongside men and her main <clears throat> enemies are both female as well and what i'm getting at is that with heroes you had ca female characters that had a lot of flaws just like sarah connor and the bride yeah. but a lot of the female characters today are flawless and they're all powerful and absolutely non-relatable like the she-hulk mm -hmm. was a massive flop as right I right and 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 it's like it seems to me like there is no character arc where where you allow for this relatability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I listen. I think again, I, I created heroes pretty far into my career. You know, I'd been a a long time uh, writer of television and TV movies and some features and stuff. And it was you know the television that I wrote was all about character. You know, that was what you really cared about week in and week out. Um, you know, with a movie, it's a two hour thing and you want a spectacle and there's there, all of that. But but with television, these people live in your home with you for an hour every, every week and, and, you know, sometimes for years at a time. And so you, 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 it's the lifeblood of, of, of television drama is, coming at it from the point of view of character. So that, again, that combination of someone like me taking on a genre thing before it had taken off, um, I was very, you know, I just sort of naively approached it like I would any other, you know, uh, it was all about the characters. And, and I didn't know any other thing because I didn't have you know, I was not, I just wasn't enamored with the superpower stuff at all. I, I it never really turned me on very much. You know, uh, I, I was, I was only interested in those powers as how they afflicted my characters and forced them to make strange decisions and compromises and all that kind of stuff. So I just have a very different, you know, I just came at it from a totally different angle than 